put the hit like one, one hell of a tank. And One Step Laird knows this. I mean, look at that win rate for Valmaster. What a task One Step Laird has on his hands to try and stop this 80% win rate. 60, 60 points earned for his team so far. Ever so reliable. Keeping them in it. But despite that, you know, a 50% win rate for, for One Step Laird. He's not played as much. He's got the 10 points. Despite that consistent play there from Valmaster, it's still only 10 points between these guys before the set started. Now 20 points with that 10-point win uh, that came in the last game. I mean, it's all to play for. Very important for Team Geo to get out of this kind of back and forth with reason on the table. They're sitting yeah. fourth at the moment and start making an attack in the second half of the season for the first place. I mean, the, the exciting thing about this Street Fighter League jammers is there's only a small amount of points. What is it? 35 points between fourth and first. So. Team Geo are very much in with a chance to still come first as well. Uh, I think, again, one of the biggest questions for me is One Step Laird's matchup experience uh, against Chun Li outside of Valmaster because he is the best Chun Li we have in the European region. And of course, the only other Chun Li you're going to ask for games is TKR, which is on Team BMS. Outside of that, you might get a few online here and there, but I don't know how confident he is, the spacing. Optimal punishes is fine because we all got optimal punishes, especially at this late stage in Street Fighter 5's lifespan. But like, uh, like Valmaster said, he said, you know, what? I practice with kills you. Kills you gets very upset about the matchup <laughs> because it's very difficult in the neutral because of the uh, buttons. And I remember Pax uh, told me about this years ago. It's like Chun Li wins the neutral, but Karen gets the better reward. That's yeah. one of the biggest yeah. things about it. We did see One Step Laid uh, meditating with his headphones earlier. He's trying to be staying in the zone. And if he can pull out this surprise result here, F word, we may be looking at, you know, maybe a, a second win here against them for team reasons. Listen, man, it'll be a huge result uh, if he can pull this off. This is a, 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 a match that not only gets them 10 points, brings them back to within 10 points of qualification. Yes. If they can yes. get this, right? Because obviously with that first loss, they're now 20 points away from the qualification spot, that precious fourth place. Um, so it's a big match, but... It, it's a massive ask, of course, going up against uh, uh, one of the best performers on Team Geo and one of the most consistent performers in France and in EU in general. Uh. Yeah, look, you saw the disparity in their like win-loss uh, percentages there. When we put the stats on the screen for you guys now, there won't be any character swaps. It's going to be a straight first to two with the first Lady of Fighting Games against the Exquisite Blonde. Let's see what One Step layer has got as anti chun Lee tech, and it was already a bad start. Yeah, nice confirmed there with punish from uh, Valmaster to start. Yeah, when Valmaster's comfortable with this spacing in a matchup, like, you have to definitely be worried. Nice Whoa. whiff punish there. You get the demo. Oh, he misses this command. That's, that's not a good sign. Cancel no punish there. on that. Yeah, that was a big, uh, that was a big punish. Ooh, I like that. The, the fake behind and then the stay in front into a shimmy. So many layers. Stayed in front and the oh, V-shift. Oh, what a punish. So ready for the V-shift. Into the activation. Oh, what did he press there? Uh, I think he tried to do a special step or a roundhouse, something. He oh, tried to strange. move forward. Oh, 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 a really strange choice there from one step. Should have just taken his time. Yeah, and Valmaster didn't look impressed by that. A yeah, ton of damage as a result. He was very much in that round until that moment. Oh, yeah, heavy trigger one jump. That was crazy. Yeah, he's been practicing this. Jeez, especially those someone has been punches. playing the matchup. Yeah. All right, dash is in. That wasn't plus. Yeah, wasn't high enough. Hello, it's, a, sorry. it's a French up with the Orochi. Good button check there from Valmaster. He's in the crouching fierce as well. I don't know how one step late is going to find a clean, big damaging hit. Oh, no cancel. Had the double jab. They just walk in back and forward, trying to find that range. He looks like he's trying to whip punish, like stand fierce, but Harky's going to punch you in the face if you're not careful. Oh. Right, he's spending all yeah, the bars. Well. Okay. Oh, just anticipates the shimmy straight into the crouch medium. No, oh, he got hit. That could have been the round there, Edward. Oh, hesitation there from One Step Laird, pressing buttons at the wrong time. And Valmaster, with a very, very convincing first battle, takes that one over One Step Laird. I think it's just been very textbook mistakes, really. You just literally said it in the previous sentence. It's just been, uh, outside of a spacing issue, it's just been pressing buttons at the wrong time. And unfortunately, against someone as optimal as Valmaster with Chun-Li, pressing buttons at the wrong time, he's really salivating at the mouth. Have you seen this kind of hit compass? Yeah, and and we mentioned the, the equalizer, like you said, in the olden days, I think, you know, uh, of Pax talking about carrying Chun-Li. He was absolutely right, but that's changed uh, now, I think. With, with, yeah. with the Hasanshu, uh V-Skill and, and that Crouch Fierce, Cancel, but she gets pretty reasonable reward. Obviously not the same level as Karin's, but she hits pretty hard. So that neutral game where Karin's taking more hits than Chun-Li, 
it adds up. And Karen does not have the health, by the way, as well. Worth mentioning. So Yeah, I actually believe Charlie's got slightly more, maybe 50 hit points more vitality than um, Karen does. But mm -hmm. again, like you said, everything's significantly changed, especially uh, Chun Li being uh, one of the best characters, uh, in my personal opinion, one of the best characters in the game right now. But yes, all eyes are on one step laid. How is he going to adjust? What has MQS told him or Soundboy? Maybe they just told him to calm down. Maybe they said, look, you need to rethink your approach. Try not to whiff as many buttons. That's what Valmas is looking for. But it's very difficult, man. Very a few times it looked like the string was over from a Valmaster and just a strange choice of button from quite far away from the ones that led and, and it get clattered. So oh. just needs to chill out, not be scared to go back to neutral. You see an uncharacteristic jumps. Both of them got anti oh, nice and again, uh, press the buttons at the wrong time. Well, that was a throw stagger at least. Again, another throw stagger. He's found his sweet spot, hasn't he? Instant overhead for the stun. And Valmaster is riding away with this now. That should be enough. Beautiful execution, not a meter needed. Optimized finish, and it is now game point. Valmaster, Team Geo in the driver's seat, Jamis. That was so quick. Such a fantastic round there from Valmaster. And a whiff again. punish again. Such a beautiful whiff punish. Wake up buttons. Guess he's here. Didn't want to suicide there. Chose to keep the meter. Yeah, he just hasn't really had a chance to play. Oh, that's a nice option. I like that. Don't there. be whiffing hard kicks against me. Done. Oh, missed his counter hit. Has to save himself. First time that's happened. He shifted to the break. That worked out. He shifted to not the break yeah, no again. This time. Yeah. Get chased down here. Oh, counter. got hit though. That's gonna hurt. And the corner carry. He has to just block it. He, he has just block to it out. block it out. Block it out. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. Ooh. Big jump in. Huge damage coming now. Ooh, he spent everything and he's gonna activate the trigger and send Valmaster straight to the corner. One like. light throw will do it. Oh, oh, it worked out. Wow. He got away with that. That shouldn't work. It shouldn't work, but you know what? Some people might call that genius because Valmaster would have tried to punish and check it. You know what? Sometimes playing another carrying enough can work against you because he definitely just doesn't see such a strategy. Oh, all right. One step coming into this set with a beautiful whip punish of his own. Forward throw. He might be looking at a jump in a minute, but oh, he big gets whip on that sweep. I'm sorry, whip for a sweep there. Great awareness there from Valmaster to be ready for it as well. Can't be whipping these kick buttons, man. Yeah, he's I mean, he's, he's the X10 coded, but the amount of concentration that takes. Running into them now. Take the delay. delay. Jab, yeah, like. fantastic. Watch out for a spinning bird kick. He yeah, that wasn't a safe jump. Oh, oh, counter hit. What did he press? Oh, no. He this could have is it. Miss. Still in it, but can't get hit here. One hit, and that's the end. Sweep activate. He's he looking for the sweep. He's got enough for the sweep. Just about close enough. Don't do that. Oh. Oh, that's oh, so close. Oh, no, you can't. You cannot. And you said, you actually said the best thing to do is to do it raw. <laughs> but don't whiff it, Jamis. Don't whiff it. Beautiful awareness and readiness from Valmaster. This is a guy that was punishing minus two frame things with a single frame super back in Street Fighter 4. Bread and butter for him to react to something with him from that far away. And he takes the second game for Team Geo. They now move 20 points away. What, wait, 30 points away from Reason in the leaderboard, climbing their way up that table. And uh, Reason with it all to do here. Got to rely on Soundboy for another week.